Yeah, so good morning everyone. Let's start with our market commentary. Now, what we see in front of us is basically a nifty daily chart. Uh, as we have been saying from last three days, our important milestone or basically the upper resistance comes around these levels of 10,600 to 10,700 or so. Uh, what we see today uh, in the morning itself, uh, the market opens gap up and it is basically the resistance zone where market needs to spend some time or basically try uh, to pull itself higher. So it won't be an easy task for Nifty just to fly high. On the part of that, we have basically seen a good uptick happening from last three days. So there has been a continuous up move. Along with that, there has been a gap formation at every up move. Okay, so normally, yes, after a slimming downside, you can see a good kind of recuperations which are happening, but ideally the upper resistance zone remains intact, right? So Nifty would basically go out in this zone of 10, uh, 630 to 10, 700 or so, and it would like to be facing good amount of resistance. Now if you go down and see on the smaller time frame what exactly happened in the morning. So one thing which we go out and see from, as you were saying on the daily candle, it was opening gap up, zooming up, it was opening gap up, zooming up. So last two days, it has been a good ride for Nifty. Now what we see today, it opens gap up and then it tries to fill the gap, right? So currently where we stand, basically it's a gap up opening at the resistance level and then you have a follow up selling coming in. So that basically shows how important the resistance of 10,650 or 10,700 is because it is also a resistance from the weekly chart. So that is where you are trying to see it's now trying to pinch itself down. The gap is almost done. All we need to see whether it is able to break uh, today's low or yesterday's close which is 10,576. So once it closes 10,576 then you might find one slide of downside which is equally possible in today's market itself. So the important uh, important level to watch out on intraday basis is 10,575 and that should be the important level which it should not break if it has to retain its uptrend. So ideally it should come here around these range and form a U-turn and slide on the higher side. So that's basically how Nifty is panning out. Uh, similar would be the case for Bank Nifty. So let's go out and see Bank Nifty first on the daily chart. So if you're seeing on Bank Nifty as well, the same case has happened. It has been gap up and gap up and it zooms high. Obviously the upper level of resistance, which was 25,800 zone uh, because of the top of the Moriba zoo. What we see over here, it did not even touch the resistance zone, right? Like the Nifty basically entered in the resistance zone, but this uh, Bank Nifty did not even touch the resistance zone. So there was no gap of opening happening, number one. Number two, it opened and now a selling is coming by. So it's pretty much more selling in Bank Nifty compared to Nifty and there was no bullish stand in Bank Nifty. Now we go out and see on the 15 minute time frame what we see as we as we speak right in the morning itself uh, it had opened up and then you are finding a continuous sell off coming into place. Now important thing at the end the gap up had happened over here and it almost remained over there and then right in the morning a continuous sell off is taking place. So two gap ups here the com continuous rally which had we have seen in Bank Nifty what we see now is basically the same level of opening and a selling off. Now where will the Bank Nifty stop? Absolutely at the gap range. So first thing which is very much clear it will come down to these range where the gap was formed. So uh, quite a bit selling is still left in Bank Nifty and Bank Nifty might approach towards 25,300 to 25,400 range and that is where a small respite will come into place or a quick bounce around that peripheral. So ideally what we are seeing over here Nifty is at a very good juncture. Yesterday's close should not be breached or today's low right 575 and if it reaches there who will help him to reach there is basically bank nifty because you have still downside left in bank nifty because it can still go by 100 points and reach to 25 400 or to 25 300 zone 
so what we see over here after a quick bounce obviously there will be some profit taking which will always take place but ideally if you try to see the bigger picture or the structural picture still remains intact so what i see for bank nifty agreed that there was a quick bounce back but there is a resistance level of 25800 and on the higher level of 25 26100 so these resistance will remain intact and important is if these resistance are taken out then only you can see a better upside for bank nifty otherwise uh, it will basically remain a range bound for this entire week now one thing also you need to remember it's basically tuesday today and you basically have two more days of working session right and then you have three days as holiday so ideally what happens over here uh, in this short weeks uh, normally people do not want to hold large amount of positions going into the longer weekend so this is how uh, things would pan out based on low volume uh, it can again come back and shoot to this resistance zone but one thing is clear on the structural front there is no bigger upside which can be seen on bank nifty similarly on nifty on the structural front front we are not seeing upside on nifty as well right so it is now both in the resistance zone number one only point where we are looking out for nifty it can come down and then retest the gaps now you need to understand in this month itself there would be a range bound session going into the resistance zone it has to cross this zone then only for an upside is possible and on the downside as we saw from where the base rally happened 10,350 becomes a good base or 10,300 becomes a good base of support for nifty as well so that is how nifty and bank nifty are panning out uh, let's go out and see some of the stocks as gainers and losers now what we see today, uh, gainers are entire uh, oil companies are up, Gale, ONGC, Oil and Gas, Reliance and IOC. <coughs> Reliance is up because of the back of news of getting allotment of KG Basin and stuff like that. But what we see over here, there is now a complete reversal happening in the OMC and the oil markets. Right. So one thing, the gainer list has now quite changed drastically. Apart from that, uh, you basically now have IT also popping up. So yesterday entire IT was down and today you see TCS again making up in the list of top gainers right in the morning itself. Uh, from the banking side, if you go out and see there is no bank over here except for ES Bank. Right? So all the Indus in Bank, Kotak Bank, which were zooming in the trade yesterday, HDFC Bank, they are all out because Bank Nifty itself is not going on the high side. When you go out and look at the losing side, so the losers are basically as we predicted all the banks so icici kotak access bank all who are zooming up yesterday are down even the sbi is seeing some amount of pressures apart from that bajaj finance two and a half percent up yesterday is yet down right and then even the z which was gainer yesterday is down so ideally what has happened over here the entire banking pack is down so we can say nifty is facing pressure on the downside is because of the banking side and it was clear on the uh, chart as well when we compared bank nifty chart vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, nifty uh, apart from this what we what i see which is very much good in the losing side is vedanta right so vedanta tata steel indalco was zooming high yesterday and now we have vedanta in the falling list uh, and you also have still pers persistently going down is tech mahindra so we have been seeing tech mahindra zooming up and zooming down so let's open tech mahindra which has been most volatile in the last few sessions or so so it pack was zooming up so when we saw tech mahindra it had went up almost and then it had a good ride on the downside so almost came down to 570 uh, odd levels and then you have continuous uptick which took place again on tech mahindra and now it is trying to go again on the downside so ideally what we are seeing a continuous falling pressure and then a continuous rising pressure but ideally now we are seeing it pack going into the consolidated zone so now it cannot zoom up very fast and we saw yesterday entire pharma was down so let's take sipla which is one of the other you know, one of the pharma stocks where a continuous downfall has happened and now it is trying to sustain these levels okay so one pharma where all the pharmas are down but particularly sipla because it has now come in a good support range if you see there was a gap up opening a massive gap up opening around these levels of uh, 585 or so and 590 or so and now it is forming a good base 
right? So Cipla among the pharma pack looks to be quite good. Uh, we can also see Asian Paint. Since all the oil companies are now going up, let's see if Asian Paint is showing some sign of breather or not. So what we see over here, yet Asian Paint is now trying to defend this level of Moribazu of 1100 or so for at least forming a good base over here around 1100. So the moment you get a good reversal, uh, it can become a good buyer and have a good uptick on the upside. So we can keep a look, keep an eye on Asian Paint. But important is uh, to basically uh, provide support around this 1100 mark and not breach this 1100. Now what we see on the other OMC companies, as we had discussed prior as well, if you see IOC, uh, IOC after a good ride on the downside <coughs> yesterday and a couple of days back, it basically gave you a good uptick and then there was a gap up opening over here and today again you see a gap up opening taking place. So the fall was brutal in IOC and the result was fantastic, right? So last time result was fantastic. This is why you saw the rally and then all the way it came down. Now with a small stride of oil going down, you are seeing IOC back into action. So IOC, as we had suggested, was better than Hin Petro on the ranking side. So when we are looking at Hin Petro, uh, that was the second candidate in the OMC. Let's see Hin Petro, how is it performing? Now what we see on Hin Petro, which is very, very good, and something which we could learn from Hin Petro is where it opened gap up, went sideways, came back down, tried to sustain this gap, and a small reversal was taking into action, right? So it was basically forming a good base over here. Every day it was not going below the gap range plus it was making candles where it basically breached 388 levels right so hin petro also seems to be strong uh, along with ioc <coughs> one candidate bpcl where the results were not strong let's see how that guy is faring so if i see bpcl uh, even after opening slide up trying to reach the gap it is not being going up right so clearly bpcl is the loser candidate compared to ioc and in petrol let's see the oil marketing apart from oil companies is the gale and ongc which are performing good now what we see on the gale now one good point is there was a mild correction which had happened and now today it's opening up and trying to go above all the resistances so you can see a quick rally in gale but the higher resistance remains intact of 480 and these range of 490 or so but at least a quick reversal formation is basically taking place in gale but what I see on the gale, uh, on the structural front, if you see, the gale has been zooming up, right? And it has been performing well and also maintaining a good base. So when I see gale, it's been maintaining a good base of 443, 445 or so, even on the downside where two times it has gone down. But this is where gale seems to be uh, uniquely positioned for the upside. So gale is there and then you have ONGC. Now, ONGC, if you see the same story as far as Gale goes, a good fall in ONGC, bringing it back from these 200 levels to straight away to 180 levels. So the correction was good enough from where the entire rally had started. Number one. Number two, if you see this was the first bounce which took place, right? And normally it is not good to go out and do bottom fishing in the first bounce. And then we waited for another uh, downfall to come in. So when we saw a complete red candle, pushing ONGC down and then what happens like in Petro, this was the small gap which was built in ONGC. So it fills the gap almost at the bottom and then you have multiple candles which tries to breach this 185 mark. So this once it went down, but then following that we basically see an uptick coming in to ONGC. So this basically shows at the bottom of Red Moribazu complete formation of U pattern, the similar case which was there in, in Petro. After a spike going down also, you are seeing a good buying coming in the next following two days, clearly shows there is an uptick zooming out in ONGC. So this is the kind of formation you should always look at. The Mori Bazus are very, very important uh, in our analysis and it always provides good amount of levels which you need to look out for. So here exactly at the bottom, multiple times the levels were uh, touched as well as the maintenance of this particular level of 185 was done what happened day after tomorrow day before yesterday is where the selling took place small gap up and it inched higher and that is where you're finding it to go higher towards 193 or so
So whenever there is a congestion zone and it is on the back of Moribazu, you will always find a good upside happening, right? So that is these are the kind of congestion zone you should always bet on, uh, provided that it also spikes down and test. So retest and reconfirmation has taken place for 185, right? So that's one of the good structure which was formed. Now when we go out and see Z, so Z has been a strong candidate through and through. So what I see Z on the longer frame, one basic downside for Z is 527 straight away support. But if I go out and see over here, there is another support of 557 or so, right? Multiple supports, if you see multiple times, it has come around this area and has returned. Now what I see over here, the last fall, this was the first one then the bounce took place and as i said we should not go out and do bottom fishing in the first bounce then again the selling comes in right so it is trying to retest the same levels kind of double bottom formation and then what happens over here it almost goes sideways and yesterday if you see it opened gap up and it was trying to zoom the important point was the entire rally which took place brings him back to the important resistance zone so 585 obviously here multiple times selling has taken place and it has reversed all the way up towards this 585. So it becomes a good level to watch out for if Z has to go <coughs> further on the higher side. So if 585 is taken out, there is a clear visibility of upside of 610 on the cards, right? So Z is a potential uh, buying candidate on every level, but you need to understand when the fall has been good enough or decent enough, multiple tests has taken place, undergoing a congestion zone and then you see a bigger upside, right? So this is how we need to spot out uh, our trades where the correction happens, multiple testing takes place, congestion happens and then the reversal takes place. Uh, similarly, as we were talking about Maruti yesterday, so Maruti yesterday itself, as we saw, the first bounce took place, second bounce happened, and year after that, there was a small uptick which took place. Then it opened gap up yesterday itself as we were discussing in our yesterday commentary. And there is a complete pull up that takes place. Right. So Maruti also is one of the uh, good stocks. And then you have auto numbers coming in, in the next week or so. So Maruti is seeming to be very, very strong. Now everybody is crowded in that particular space. So the good rally has already happened. 8,600 to 9,000. Or if you see the upper level of resistance of 9,000. 150 will come into action right so it will take some time to cross this level it's not that easy that it will just cross it might cross on the day when the numbers are punched in and the good numbers come out it might go on the higher scale towards 9400 or so but the major uptick rally half of it has already happened and in order for next half you need to wait for the order numbers to click in right so you can keep a look at hero moto Sorry, Maruti. And then the other two guys we were talking about is Hero Moto and Bajaj Auto. So what I see on Hero Moto is something again fantastic. Continuous selling taking place. Bottom formation happens. And if you see yesterday as we were talking about a small gap up and this gap up was about prior resistances. Right. So all the level of resistances if you see it is basically opening straight away above that and trying to inch on the higher side. And today what I see again it is opening gap up where these were the resistances. So it is trying to beat the resistance with the gaps. That basically is a potential winner, right? Again, the same formation, uh, first formation over here where bounce takes place. The second time it falls to the same level, the rounding fashion happens and then it inches on the higher side, right? So that's Hiromoto. And then we had Bajaj Auto. So Bajaj Auto also should be strong as far as Hiromoto goes. Now, if you see continuous selling has taken place on Bajaj Auto as well. But here we see multiple small, small steps are taken by Bajaj Auto. But compared to Hero Moto, Bajaj Auto is not striding up high and not on back of heavy candles. Right? So that is one of the point which you need to understand. So that is not back of heavy candles. So this basically shows a uh, small weakness in Bajaj Auto. Uh, if it basically does not go below these levels, Okay, so that is the prior resistance. If you see multiple support, support was taken over here and the selling of Moribazu happened from 3015. So if it takes smaller level of support around this range, then there is a clear upside towards these levels is possible in Bajaj Auto.
Now that rally can basically come in one day itself, right? Straight away from 3035 watt level to 3160 watt level. So keep an eye on these auto stocks, uh, which are very, very strong and seeming to be strong in the entire trade. And now we can go out and see before we close out Nifty and Bank Nifty. So if you go out and see five minutes of Nifty, uh, exactly what we were trying to think uh, is coming into play. As we were talking about today's close, today's low and yesterday's close, if it breaches, then you can see further downside in Nifty. And that exactly happens. First time it bounces up, comes back down, and now it is below today's low that it had made and yesterday's close, right? So both basically tries to hamper the game. Now the agenda over here is we know now it is on the downside. Agenda is pretty much clear who is the culprit. Culprit is bank nifty. So if you go out and see even on daily scale, uh, if you see now it is almost clearly downside uh, is visible on bank nifty towards the gap, right? So as we were talking about bank nifty was weak throughout in the morning itself. It's coming down very fast and it is now coming to the gap zone. So obviously in the gap zone, you will find some kind of support coming in. So bank Nifty will take some support and that support will be provided to Nifty. So the fall of Nifty will stop as soon as bank Nifty reaches to its support zone. So hardly around 30, 40 points are left. And then you will find bank Nifty giving support to Nifty, right? So on the intraday chart, if I go out and see five minutes, uh, it's pretty much clear if you see this was the fall which was happening when we started the commentary and now it's pulling itself down towards these level of the gap 25 400 or so right. so we need to now see on the intraday basis whether this support is been matched or not if it is not been matched then you are seeing a heavy selling coming into place but otherwise uh, here the support will be taken and a quick reversal will happen for the day right. but clearly bank nifty is under the hammer and it is punching itself down Fine. So thank you very much for joining in. Keep an eye on the auto stocks and some of the pharma stocks which can perform today.